Uh, hey. Been a while. Ragga rides. Slow pace. Back with the ZZ Rodeo again. You see. So, update. Um, after they're... We're having problems with cylinder 2. Basically, it's the valves. I guess during the overheating process. I, okay, well, if anybody knows about what happens to heads when they overheat. It was just a dumb mistake by me that I not by me not actually uh taking the head completely apart and just doing everything i should i should have stripped them all the way down but i didn't so now i'm paying for it in the long run which is stupid to me because i know i should have done it i even said to myself take the heads apart so when you take them to the machine shop it's bare and when you get them back fresh everything up good to go but nope i decided to do it the the hard way and um i'm paying for it now so now i gotta take the heads back off and basically clean up the valves because they're getting a, um, a misfire in cylinder two so basically the valves aren't seating compression's good it's just the valves not seating so it's it's get, making it miss in cylinder two so I'm gonna go ahead and just take the both heads off valve seals new valves clean it all up throw it back in which I should have done a long time ago which is so dumb because I'm paying for it now so learn from my mistakes so which I've already I'm already a pro at this engine already so I figure I am I mean I, it's just so easy to take apart and you know I'm already, I already know it very well so I just took the, the intake manifold off there's the truck okay, there's the intake I'll just end up cleaning this up a little bit. Head's gonna come back off, so I might as well clean everything. But other than that, though, it was running great. Um, I mean, it ran good. It, it drove. It's just uh, that misfire in that cylinder. So not good. And as good as five cylinders will let you run. Uh, but other than that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that, and should be no problem at all. Now I just gotta drop the manifolds which are easy I jack the car up take off the wheels jack stands and then um put up on jack stands take the wheels off undo the, the exhaust headers on both sides um take time belt off easy I'm just gonna take those two bolts off right there for the tensioner those two that one and that one tensioner comes off belt comes off everything else stays on um, I got to take off the power steering pump on this side because it's bolted to the head. But for the most part, I can just unbolt it right here and push the side so no power steering for leaks. And um, take this side off. But I'm going to go ahead and, since we're doing the EGR delete, I'm going to seal up this hole right here to take the head off with the, the welder. And that's going to be EGR delete too. So on that. So other than that, uh, just clean up and see what happens. I just hate that I have to, to do this the hard way. You can see where the injectors were firing on the side. It's all clean. We clean all of this up. Well, all right, that's an update on everything. Uh, the Hondas have been giving me problems and just. Uh, it's the same. Nope. She's been sitting, so just there, chilling. The truck. A couple other more projects, but for the meantime, uh, I'm going to tear this one all down today. I'll upload more pictures as I, or videos as I go. But basically, it's just taking the head off, cleaning everything, putting it back together, and doing a, um, I'm going to do a, uh, what's called a leak down test. When I take the heads off, Get the table, put them upside down so you can see me do the leak down test so you can see how to do it yourself. You know, so basically, all I did to take the intake manifold off was, well, I'll show you. Okay, so you're looking at the engine. You got one, two, three, Back one, it's four, and that's what holds on the uh, those four hold the intake manifold on. Oh, I'm sorry, and these are here those four, five, six, seven, eight. 
these two for the fuel rail on the grounds these two for the intake fuel rail fuel rail ground and intake these back ones are just to hold the the cap the top because it's a two-piece so that's pretty much it Actually, the bolts put them back on so but for the most part i got everything organized i mean i've already done it so many times because i've been stupid like the egr valve i didn't hook it up i tried to but just wasn't having it i don't know if i can try to get this thing out I'll try to get it out and see but i'm just gonna cut it right here weld it solid and then just bolt it back up Simple, or do it from right here and just weld the top. Simple, easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. But other than that, though, compression tech came out good. It's just freaking valves. It's just not, it's not doing it. It was blowing it out the uh, intake. Um, let's see. I'll show you. Let's see. It was blowing the, uh, I guess, the intake or wasn't closing you can see I already had wiped it but get to it and show you the products along the way